In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create the cinematic countdown from scratch in CapCut. If you want to master it, stay with me until the end of this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Open CapCut and create a new project. First, we need to create a text. Go to the Text tab, click on it. Now click Add to add it to the timeline. Now drag it for about 10 seconds. Go to your right pane, clear everything and type in Shift O. The O must be uppercase to use it for this project. Scale the font to about 148%. We need to create a thin circle, so we need to change our font to the thinnest circle possible. I'm going to use this font. We're going to use this circle to place our numbers inside of it. Let me show you a couple of ways of doing this. Click on Add to add another text to the timeline. This is where the number is going to be. So if you type in number 10, and resize the screen here to fit just about that. Then we have to drag that timeline to be about one second increment. That's going to be a little bit difficult if you're going to do 10 numbers or 20 numbers one by one. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to do the first one for one second. Then if I want to create the second number, I have to copy this and then paste it and then paste it on the timeline. Then I have to go change the number to number nine. And I have to go copy and paste this again and repeat the whole process until I get to all the way to zero. Well, that's gonna be time consuming and you don't wanna do that. And of course you can do control C and control V to cut and paste, but I think that still is not accurate because you have to precisely time those seconds and maybe you have to zoom into the timeline to make sure you're actually hitting that one second increment. But the easiest way I'm going to introduce to you is using chat GPT, which will automate the whole thing for you. And yes, you can use the free version of chat GPT to do this for you. And I do recommend that because, um, I find it very accurate and very easy to build. Let's take a look. This is ChatGPT. We're going to type in create a countdown timer for 10 seconds in SRT format. Then ChatGPT is going to create that file for you that fast. It's going to create 10 seconds countdown. Then after reviewing, we can go up and click on copy. So we can copy the code and paste it to a notepad. Just go then, click on copy, then open your notepad. And once you open the notepad, paste it, control V. Now we need to save it. This is very important. Save as and type in countdown underscore 10 seconds dot SRT. Remember dot SRT and then save as type all files and then click on save and that's it. Now in CapCut, click on caption, then add caption, click on import, import that file and add it to the timeline. As you can see, we have 10 seconds of precise and accurate countdown. Now we need to resize and select the text. I'm going to use the text I use for the intro go to the font search box and type SF Hollywood Hills. You can try any font you want, but for the sake of this project, I'm going to use what I used for the intro as mentioned. Now scale it to about 39%. Now we need to make it look nice. So for that, we need to apply some kind of chromish metal material. So for that, we go to effects and select anything that looks chromish. 
this looks good. Now when you scrub the timeline, you see all the numbers are being displayed in a chromish effect. Because we need to animate the circle, we need to make sure first the circle fits in the numbers precisely. For that, we need to drag the circle layer all the way to the end of the numbers. And we want to make sure the numbers do fit in and is centered the way we want to. This looks good. Now, for some reason, ChatGPT created times up instead of zero. So we need to change that. Go to captions, scroll down until you see times up, click on it and change that to zero. And now when you scrub the timeline, you can see all the numbers are being displayed correctly inside the circle and they look good. So if ChatGPT gives you a weird characters or something, you can always go ahead and make those changes easily. Now we need to decrease the circle layer to one second increment. Once you have your first one, go ahead and copy and paste it nine more times to cover the entire timeline. Use Control C and Control V to copy and paste. Then drag and arrange them in order. Now we need to create our first circle effect. Click on the first one. Go to Animation tab. Go to Out. Scroll down until you see Clock Wipe. Select. And as you can see, it creates a clock wipe effect. Now we need to apply the same effect to the rest of the other circles we have. You can control click each section or you can go ahead and grab the timeline here and select them and go to animation. Go to clock wipe and now all the selected sections have the clock wipe effect, just like the first one. Run the timeline to check the effect. And we have circle for every number being done precisely. Now we need to add our second effect to it. That's going to be our loop effect. Select all the sections in the first layer. Now go to the animation tab, click on loop. Now we need to look for page turning effect, which is going to be just about here. Click on it. And as you can see, the animation looks like it's counting the seconds. It looks like it's turning a page before it hits the next number. Now it's time to add some effects to the number layer. We need to select all the sections on the second layer. Go ahead and drag to cover the entire sections on the upper layer. Now go to Animation tab and go to In and select Starlight Effect. Now the Starlight Effect has been applied to all selected sections. As the number changes, there's going to be a Starlight Effect which looks pretty close to a particle effect, makes it more cinematic and nice. Now it's time to add some sound effect. I've already downloaded the sound effect called 10 seconds countdown, which is timed precisely because we used chat GPT to create those one second increment. So when the 10 seconds audio starts, it basically matches the entire scene. And that's one of the reasons you shouldn't create them manually. Now we need to add some effects. Go to the effects tab. I've already downloaded the ones I need for this project. But I'm going to show you step by step what each effect does and how you can use them. The first effect is camera beats effect, which gives it a motion blurry effect, which looks very cinematic. It also gives it some camera movement. When you cover the timeline with this effect, it goes through every number and gives it a different angle and different animation. Some of them are zoomed and some of them are wider angle. But in general, it gives it a nice shaky movement. Now the second effect is called 
misty rays. It gives it like a projector effect. It looks like it's a projector that is reflecting those numbers. I like this effect because it looks very realistic. And when you turn off this effect, you can tell it looks kind of empty without it. So we're going to keep this effect. As each number changes, the misty ray effect shines through the numbers and enriches the first effect that we used, which is camera beats. Now we're going to change the lighting with the next effect, which is color shadows. It gives it a nice a double reflective yellowish effect which is very classic and i like the way it shines through the misty rays and also through the numbers it looks very goldish and very rich and it matches our starlight effect you may also adjust the intensity of each effect by selecting that effect and going to the right pane and playing with those settings you may adjust the blur color strength and range Every project is different, so select the one that matches your project. Now we need to add the fire particle effect. For that, we're going to select by the fireplace effect, which is available inside CapCut. All these effects I've selected are available in CapCut. Fire particle effect gives you this rich animation, which adds extra dimension to your project and makes it look very cinematic epic motion graphic not only it looks very professional but also very unique now the final layer we're going to add is a 4k layer this is found in the filter section if you look for 4k you will find this filter when you apply this filter effect it gives you a sharper look for example when you look at number six it's sharp Basically, the 4K filter effect, it creates a sharper and higher quality look to your project. Now, for the ending, I've added a fade to black effect. So when you run the timeline, you see the particles fade to black, which ends the clip nicely. Now we have completed this project. Let's go ahead and export that. Go up to the export tab click on it and then we're going to name it countdown underscore final make sure the audio and video both selected and click on export now let's watch the final clip together nine eight seven six five four three two one Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.